Okay, and welcome to another uh, March Fusion video. So I am doing the voiceovers for March because it is the one year anniversary of me starting Fuse Day Tuesday and I'm sort of getting... Uh, I wanted to do something different and something exciting. Um, so voiceovers and then the theme of the gems. I talked about this in a couple of earlier videos. Um, filming this on March 10th. Don't know if you need to know that. It's, it's uh, filming this recording. Recording this... Uh, on March 10th, I filmed it, actually, earlier, obviously. Um, one of the things that I mentioned in, I think, the last video, the... Was it Chuck Campfight? Yeah. That I wanted to do, that was um, also different, aside from the theme and the voiceovers, was I wanted to really challenge myself, start challenging myself again with these videos, because I have sort of felt like I haven't been getting anywhere new, improving my art, with doing Fuse Day Tuesday for quite a while. So I wanted to do something new and exciting, and for this one there were a couple of things, but the first one was the line art. I wanted the outside of the lines to be white, which usually I just pick the darkest color in my color scheme, and I do the lines with that. Um, but for Torber Knight here, I wanted to do, because the gem is a radioactive gem, I wanted to have her be uh, glowing, so that was what I was trying to do with the line art, and I did it and started over a couple of times. You'll see me going back and forth on it. I've started to color her now, so I guess I'm satisfied with this. Lovely. Um, and you can see the glowing stuff around her. I'll turn that filter on and off every now and then. Um, and I did go back and forth on the colors a lot with this one too, because um, I just wanted to ever have everything be sort of like a modern, glowy sort of look to it, and that's reflected in her design as well. Um, I really, I really love doing fusions with Peridot where she has her limb enhancers. Um, I think that they're a lot of fun. I really like that sort of chunky style. It reminds me a lot of Jenny the Teenage Robot and the fusion that I did with her and I think it was Sapphire a while back um, really reminded me of Jenny the Teenage Robot with that sort of um, not futuristic but like the old-fashioned style of futuristic look to her. I really, really love that um, with Peridot Fusions, and that's sort of become a recurring theme with Peridot Fusions that have the um, limb enhancers, except for the one I did of her and Jasper where she had her limb enhancers. That one was just, I wanted to make it really nightmarish and creepy. But this one's really fun. Um, one of the things I also considered doing with her was because it was a green radioactive gem, I kind of wanted to make her a bit like the Hulk. Obviously, you can see she does not look much like the Hulk. She's got those really skinny arms and legs instead, because having her be really big and burly didn't make sense um, with either Centipedal or Peridot's actual character designs. Um, but I did consider it, um, and in the end, I sort of thought that maybe it would be more her personality that was like the Hulk. Um, that lighting on her belt is wrong, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> the light's coming from above, I don't know, I'm not super great at lighting, I'm getting better, but eh. Um, but yeah, no, her personality is like the Hulk, so Centipedal is corrupted, so she's got some communication issues like the Hulk, and Peridot is very smart, like Banner, so I figure you put them together, and it'd sort of make this uh, interesting little thing here, and that would sort of be her personality. Here she looks very sweet, though, I think she really would be kind of sweet, but she's got that sort of peridot bite. She's definitely got some radioactive acid powers. You shouldn't just be hanging around her all willy-nilly. But, um, yeah, that's that's the whole thing. It was a pretty short one, um, because I did the radioactive sort of glow with brushes, and wound up being more simple than I thought it was going to be. So, I hope you liked it, and I will see you next week. Enjoy! <laughs> 